Let me show you how you can access the Google Drive when you're offline. So first is you must be connected to the internet when you do this. Second, you're using the Google Chrome. And third, make sure that your laptop or computer has enough space for saving files. So let's proceed. You sign into your Google account and go to your Google Drive. So once it's open, let's go to the settings, the gear button up here, click, go to settings. Then you can see here the word offline. It says here, create, open, and edit your recent Google Docs, sheets, and slides files on this device while offline. So you need to check this, extension needed. So to turn on offline access, install Google Docs offline extension to your Chrome browser. So we just click install. The Google Docs offline, this is the extension that we need. So just click add to Chrome. Add extension. So now it's added. At the upper right hand corner, we can see here the Google Docs offline extension. So we'll go back to my drive. So now we can check the box for offline use. So let's check this. So please take note, this is not recommended on public or shared computers. So click this box. Okay, and then done so it's now setting up for offline use so after clicking the box for offline we can now see this button here the check so this is when we click we can see here offline preview so now if you go offline say let's turn this on So all those files that are grayed out, meaning we can't access this, we cannot access this when we're offline, you'll notice that most of the files in the drive were grayed out. And this is because only those recent files were made available or accessible offline. So what can we do if we want to see and edit a particular file offline, but it's grayed out here. So let's go back again to offline preview and turn this off. Let's be reminded that the offline use is applicable only for Google Slides, Docs, and Sheets. So non-Google files such as PDFs, images, and even videos cannot be made accessible offline. So let's try to open this folder, class records. Let me right click. Let's choose a file and then right click. So we can see this, the check mark, available offline. So just turn this on. Okay, let's click on the other files. These are sheets. So to select multiple files, just press Control, then click on the other files, then right click and turn on this available offline. Now let's go back up to the offline preview. Let's turn this on. Notice that the transmutation table is grayed out, so that means it will not be available when you go offline, while the other files will be available when you don't have the internet connection. If we will change the layout from grid to list, we'll be able to see this check buttons here at the end of the file name. That means it's available offline. Let's go back to my drive see which files will become available when you're offline. So these dark shaded files here are the ones that are available and accessible when you're offline.
or don't have any internet connection. So let's go back again to the offline preview, but let's turn this off. So it's now off. And let me turn off the internet connection. So let's click on that and disconnect the Wi-Fi. So notice here, we don't have any internet connections. Let's try to open Netflix. So it says here, no internet. So let's just open a tab and let's exit the Google Drive. You can log out if you want from your Google Drive. So since we don't have any internet connection, let's try again to open our drive. So drive.google.com. Let's see what's going to happen here. It will take a while. This is how your offline mode will look like. So the dark shaded files here are the ones that are available and you can edit them. So say, for example, you open this. So you can edit this file. You can add content or remove any content here. Say, for example, you'll type employee name. So as you notice, we have a status here, saving. So when you click on this, all changes saved to this device and you're working offline. But there's a limit here, there's a limitation. So you cannot make a copy or share it or download it and even to rename it and move it to trash. So next, let's exit that. Let's go to class records. Let me open the first file. So you can actually see this icon here because I have edited this. I just removed the names of the students. So let me open this. Okay. So if you want to edit the file, you may do so. So again, the status here, you can see document status. You're working offline and all changes that you will be making here will be saved to this device. And once you go back online, it will automatically sync into your Google Drive. So that's how we make our files in Google Drive available when you don't have the internet connection. Another tip I can give you is when you have installed this, Drive for Desktop or Google Drive for Desktop on your computer and you go to your File Explorer, Google Drive is here. So when you open your drive, say I'll go to Documents. This one I'm using another Drive account here or Google account. So the green buttons that you can see here, these are actually the files that I have made available offline. So when I right click on that file, you can see here offline access. So it's check here available offline. Now say I'll give you an example. We'll make one here available offline, this one. Answer key fourth quarter learning activity sheets. Let's right click on that and then click on available offline. So you'll notice that the cloud changes to a small check button that's green here. So this means that it's available offline. So let's remove again our internet access so disconnect so we don't have internet anymore so let me open this answer key double click let's see if it will open okay it opens next let's open another file another file type this time say second quarter mps Okay, it opens. So whatever files here that you have made available for offline access, you can access it, open it, edit it without the need of the internet connection.